When I think back to what had the most impact on my real estate business, hands down the thing that lasted the longest and had the most respect and just appreciation from my clientele was the events that we held for them. So after you've spent all this time and effort to generate a client, give them great service, and then actually serve them and see them through the transaction, whether it's buying or selling, you now have access to them like you never had before. And I believe that nurturing a past client database and sphere of influence database of people that already know, like, and trust you is the secret to a long sustainable business in real estate. And these events, this is where you show your appreciation and your love for your clients. And also one of the best places where you're going to generate repeat and ongoing referrals. So watch this training closely on how we did events and how specifically you can incorporate events into your business. All right, let's talk about marketing events. And the reason I want you to focus on marketing events is because I want you to develop clients for life. I want your clients to feel like not only were they a sale, but they're part of this family now and that they're gonna be served for life. You know, it's such an upsetting statistic for me in real estate that the majority of people, over 80% of the people that bought a home in the last seven years don't even remember their agent's name. And I just don't want that to become you because it's so much easier and it's so much less expensive to maintain a customer than it is to acquire a customer. And yet so many of us are just constantly out on this treadmill trying to acquire new customers and not serving the ones that already came in and that we already did a great job for and that already love us. So let's really focus on events because events are gonna be a way for you to leverage your time in order to serve these people for life. It's gonna allow you to stay top of mind with them. It's gonna help you generate referral opportunities. They're gonna be very natural um, and very easy for them to do because they're gonna be able to bring those referral opportunities with them to these events um, and participate. It's gonna help you provide purposeful follow-up opportunities and uh, just create great experiences for them. So I suggest that you host at least an event per quarter. Um, you can do more if you want. Um, we typically do about six events as a company a year and uh, we're always trying to add and make better. But here's some ideas events you could do. You can do a movie theater day where you rent out the whole theater and you, you rent out the theater and you negotiate a rate with the theater for like a ticket and popcorn and a drink. And then you invite all your clients there. And the beauty of that is all your clients are taking over this whole theater and it's just all of you guys. And it's a great experience. It's easy. Like people can bring the family. It's family friendly. And it's just something that's doesn't take a lot of effort on your part to put together because you're using the other facilities that are already in place. Um, so I really like that. Ball games, uh, we do a ball game event every year in the spring and uh, we rent out an entire VIP section of a baseball stadium um, that's on the upper deck level and it's just an amazing event. Everybody loves the ball game. We have the mascot there. Um, it's really great family friendly. Um, atmosphere we have it catered and people get food and drinks and snacks um, it's just a great event and I really really enjoyed that one um, we always have a professional photographer there because that allows us to take pictures of all our happy clients at our event and then we can post that on social media so you get an additional benefit there and it's just a nice photo that you can send back to the families and clients that were there where they have a nice family picture from your event so it's really cool uh, pumpkin pick um, probably been one of our most successful events um, year after year. People literally come to us and tell us that this is part of our annual tradition. So they come to our pumpkin pick and they get a pumpkin and they do a carving contest and all that stuff. So it's really fun. Uh, you can do Valentine's Day gifts, Valentine's Day chocolates. Um, again, it's just kind of like a play on the whole love thing. Like we love you, you're a client of ours. Um, you can do review contests. Um, so you can have a contest with like a really cool giveaway and like really get your clients engaged in leaving reviews for you. Um, maybe they didn't leave a review when they closed because everything was chaotic. So it gives them another opportunity, you know, throughout that year to leave a review for you, which is going to help your company. It also gets them just excited and top of mind about you because you're sending them out communications about this contest. And you're also doing like a, a Facebook live for the drawing of the winner of the contest. So it's really cool. Um, you can do cookouts like barbecues. Uh, we did um, kind of like a like a field day where we rented out this big fancy barn that they use for weddings and we had like a bluegrass beer and barbecue festival and it's super fun like people really really enjoy it but there is a lot of work that goes into it so when you're thinking about these pick ones that you know you're going to be able to pull off and then scale them appropriately 
Um, you can sponsor community events. So um, we've been doing this event the last couple of years where it's a huge event that's down by the lake in our community and it's happening anyway. But we tag on as the primary sponsor of that and then we have a big VIP tent. So there's all these people, thousands of people that come to this event but the biggest tent there is our tent from our company and it's a VIP experience for our clients. So our clients come and they're happy to be at the event and there's live music and there's all this stuff going on and there's all these vendors and food trucks. So they get all of that and we get to benefit from all of that infrastructure that's in place. But then we get to make our clients feel even more special because we have this VIP tent that only they can come into. So that's really cool. Uh, you can do tailgate parties, holiday parties, um, pig roast, pie giveaways. Um, we've been doing a pie giveaway now for you know many years and people just like really, really appreciate these pies. Um, if you would have told me that people were gonna be this moved by the, the, the gift of a pie, I would have said, no way, like it's, it'll never be that big. But people will literally drive 30 minutes across town to come pick our pies up at our office and they're just so appreciative. Um, so these are just great ways for you to love on your people, um, touch them quarterly. You know, I wanna really make sure that we're creating an experience and I wanna really provide purposeful follow-up throughout the year. So as you're trying to communicate with your people, you can, you know, if you call um, everybody in your database, if you call two letters a week, you'll reach everybody once a quarter. So if you have an event every quarter and you can reach everybody once a quarter, can be a very easy way to follow up with them. Hey, Joe, I just want to call you and let you know, I was thinking about you. Uh, oh, by the way, we're going to have this event coming up in a couple weeks. I wanted to make sure you knew about it. You probably saw invitations, but I just want to let you know as well. And it's just a great way for you to follow up and have a purpose to follow up other than, hey, Joe, it's John, your realtor. Um, do you have any business? Excuse me. Do you have any business for me? It's a way for you to say, hey, I got something for you. And then, oh, by the way, if you know anybody else that's thinking about buying or selling, go ahead and bring them with you. We'd love to meet them as well. And that's a great way. We've gotten a lot of referrals that way. So event tips. I would suggest that if you're going to do a big event the first couple times, get an event planner. It's well worth the effort and the expense to hire one because what a good event planner is gonna do for you is they're gonna show you how much you can negotiate from these different vendors and these different services. So I learned a lot about how to rent a tent effectively, um, different tips on who to use and who not to use. So I think that a good event planner will pay for themselves and they'll also help you put all the pieces in place so that if you decide to take that over that event on your own, you'll know what to do. Um, create a detailed calendar. So figure out what all the pieces are in the event and then schedule them. So when do you have to order the invitations by? When do you have to mail the invitations by? What's gonna make sense leading up to that event? And then book one year in advance. In our area, a lot of the good venues get taken up by weddings. There's a lot of people, younger people in the area getting married, weddings are happening, weddings become like this major thing. Like people are getting married at these amazing spots all the time. So they're taking over these places. So don't just assume that where you wanna have your events gonna be available book it way in advance. And if you had a successful event at that location, my recommendation would be the night that it's over, the next day, book it again at that same place if you're planning on doing that event again. And then mail invitations. It's really, it's really special when somebody gets a mailed, well thought out, well crafted branding invitation piece from you. And what we always say is we want them to come, but whether they come or not, they're still going to feel your brand and your love on them when they get that piece in the mail. So definitely mail. Don't skimp out on cost here and think, oh, I'm not going to do that. Definitely mail invitations to them too. Um, and then call an invite. You know, whether that's you or a caller on your team, make sure that you're calling people. Like this is a big deal. If you call and you mail invites, you'll get twice as many people than if you don't call. So encourage your agents, have them call all the clients that they worked with in the past year. Tell them that they'd love to see them there. Really build it up and get your people there because the more people you have, the better it's gonna feel, the more excitement your, your clients are gonna feel loved. They're gonna look around and say, all these other people are being loved by this company, what a great company, and the word of mouth is gonna spread. 
Um, create an RSV form in Google. Um, this will help you know how many people are gonna show up so that you have the right amount of food. Um, and then you just know like if you're gonna give goodie bags and stuff like that. So we make them RSVP. We just say, hey, we need to know if you're gonna be coming and in our invitations and on our um, social media invitations and on our calls, we're constantly communicating that form for that event. And it's just a really good way for us to manage and also look back year over year. Is this event growing? How could we do it better? How can we get more people there and we can set targets? Um, and then share responsibilities with your team. In the beginning, we tried to do all this stuff our own. It was just me and my wife and we're like, all right, we're gonna do this, we're gonna nail it. And we just put everything on our shoulders and it was really draining. Um, so I would encourage you, get your team involved, give them responsibilities, have a sign up page where there's gonna be people there and really be like, you know, help them understand that they need to be there too because their clients are gonna show up because they serve them. And although it was your company, they're gonna really relate to that agent. So make sure your agents are there because it's really embarrassing when somebody shows up at your event and you don't know who they are because you didn't personally work with them and they're asking for the agent and the agent's not even there. So really encourage the buy-in from your team, get them there, and it'll be a great event. So I want you to do this. I really, I really think this is what's gonna help you get off this transaction treadmill, or if you're already doing events, it's gonna help you do them better. So what is one event that you can add over the next 12 months? Maybe you're doing one, two, or three already. What's one more you can add? And then what's the list of all the pieces or variables that you need to account for in order to pull that off successfully? Make that list right now and then plan it. Describe what this event would mean to your current and past clients. Like what are the, what are the feelings that you want your client to experience when they come to this event? What are the memories that you want them to have? If you'll think through all these things, you'll have an amazing event. And then follow that event up with a brainstorming session with your team. Celebrate the wins and then figure out if we were to do this event again next year, how could we make it even better? You'll be amazed at how many little nuances you'll learn and each year the event will get better and better. People come to our events now and they're like, wow, this event is amazing. And it's amazing because we've been doing it for so many years in a row and every year we've taken the time to self-assess and make it a little bit better. So I want you to do this. I want you to start to experience a much higher repeat past client and referral business component to your real estate team. And right now we're, we're averaging 35 to 40% of our total business per year comes from past clients and referrals. And I want that to happen for you too. So do this exercise and schedule another event for next year. All right, well, hope you got some great takeaways from that training and be accountable, be accountable to yourself. Go ahead and put in the comments below, what's the one takeaway that you had? What's the one event that you're gonna implement this coming year? Drop that in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.